to answer any questions that you have moving forward in training into day two of the Master in QuickBooks Level 1 course. And basically, as the uh, title kind of implies, we are here to answer any questions that you have. Again, this, um, you'll be participating through this with live chat for um, questions. So what you can do is just go ahead and type any questions that you have here in the chat. We can all see them, or you can feel free to just send us one privately here. Again, uh, this is Valerie, and I have Nikki here on the line, and we are the QuickBooks Program Mentors. Um, so we both have gotten the training and received the certification through this program. So um, we're here to you know, answer any questions you have on the line here, as well as for any other date. We do have our first question here. Um, Vicki asked, can we choose our exam date? So the answer to that is um, there will be several different dates that Central Library will be offering uh, certification testing. So it's basically going to be based upon their availability as well as yours. So um, while you, know, you can't choose any date, you will have a deal of flexibility within that um, testing week that we have designated. So again, we've designated the first week of June which is June 2nd to June 5th for testing. So as time goes on, we're in contact with the library, um, and we will give further information to you. OK, we have a second question from Katrina. It says, where can we access QuickBooks software to set up a practice account? Unfortunately, at this point, there's nothing we offer for free. for free through Intuit. Through Intuit, I'm sorry. But we do off give you hands-on access, but there at the moment there is nothing that we have available. That's actually a great question that was asked. Um, Nikki and I are going to be toggling you know, back and forth for this webinar. But um, we have looked. This is something we continue to pursue is you know, free software access. You can get hands-on you know, experience within QuickBooks itself. At this point, there is nothing offered. Um, again, this is something that we do pursue. But um, we give you the QuickBooks Pro 2009 Getting Started course through Skillsoft because that actually gives you know, hands-on simulation within a QuickBooks interface. So whereas the course that you're taking right now is entirely you know, lecture, it's basically you're listening to video and the guys speak, um, you'll find that when you move forward into the Skillsoft course, you are getting you know, hands-on experience, click here, click there, you know, create an invoice. And there's also quizzes and tests involved that kind of reinforces your knowledge. That's no problem, Katrina. I bet it's been a busy week for a few of you. Just make sure you are keeping up the track and have everything done by the 28th. OK, so we have a question here. Are there practice tests in the hands-on portion of the class? That is a good question. So. Um, the practice tests are act the ones that directly replicate the certification exam are actually separate from the Skillsoft course. So the Skillsoft course gives you the hands-on, et cetera. But what really replicates the certification exam is when you have finished all of your training and metrics, so that's info sheet, certification tutorial, mastering QuickBooks, as well as that 2009 course, um, you'll receive a voucher. And that comes with the three practice tests that are multiple choice. So we give you, you know, the hands-on aspect as well as um, something that directly replicates the multiple choice questions. So um, in addition to those practice tests, I've created a couple of quizzes that, much like the test, are multiple choice, A, B, C, D, and have the, um, you know, they go over the types of questions you'll get on the certification exam. So um, there are tests and quizzes within the course, but the actual replication practice test is what you'll get when you get that voucher.
the, um, Maria has another question, and she wants to know what are the differences between QuickBooks, QuickBooks version 9 and 12. And there are no significant differences, but both will be helpful in getting you certified. And you, the, the test that you'll be taking is for version 12, 2012. At this point, you will want to have at least half of day one finished. All of day one finished, I'm sorry. No problem. All right, and while we're on the line here, I'm just going to give some brief information about the certification exam and what you can expect. Perhaps it will kind of mark a few more questions, or spark, rather, a few more questions for you. So um, the certification exam is on QuickBooks 2012. So that was a great question someone had earlier. The reason we give you the, um, the training for 2009 is because across the board, there aren't very many differences, and we want to make sure that you have all training bases covered. So the lecture, you know, the hands-on, as well as the practice test that you'll receive at the end. The exam itself um, in QuickBooks Pro 2012 is a 50-question multiple-choice exam. So rather than being asked, you know, click here, click there, anything like that, you won't have that in the exam. It's multiple choice. Personally, I found this helpful. I think that maybe Nikki can agree that it was multiple choice because you can really use deductive reasoning with, you know, the questions. So if there are two answers that stick out to you, I mean, um, our, our suggestion is always go with your gut. That's what you should do with multiple choice. But, um, you know, you do have a 50-50 chance with that, so that's good. Um, and so the exam is about 50 minutes long. So if you think about it, it's about a minute per question. Also with the exam and the practice materials that we give you, you have the ability to, um, if you don't know a question offhand, you can actually mark it for review. So say that you're really stuck on something, what you're able to do is flag for review and then go through the rest of the test. At the very end of the exam, um, you will be able to go back to those questions and go ahead and make a choice. So that's very helpful. We have another question. Once we become certified, is there something we're going to have to do later to remain certified? I have never had those questions. This is a great one. Your certification lasts forever. You do not have to you know, retake an exam or take any credits or anything like that like some other certifications do require. So once you have the certification, um, that's yours and you are certified. And again, everyone is um, pretty pretty much on track. I know a couple of people are a little behind, which is okay. Um, you know, we just mentioned the 28th is that date that you'll really want to make sure you have everything done by. So I'm going to bring up a copy of the calendar quickly, just so I can make a couple points about um, the calendar itself, and then I'll address this question here. So I see a couple questions here. I'm just going to bring this up quickly. Um, the calendar for the training I have up here on the screen for you to view. Um, so today is the orientation webinar. So of course, you want to have every um, bit of the day one of the Mastering QuickBooks Level 1 done. Then there's a couple more significant days before training is finished. On the 27th, we ask that you finish the remainder of the Mastering QuickBooks Level 1. So that's day two of training. Then on the 28th, you'll want to complete the remaining courseware, which is QuickBooks Pro 2009 getting started. So um, with the QuickBooks Pro 2009 course, again, it's the hands-on training, and you'll move into that. The course, um, something that we kind of found when we were taking it is it asks specific questions, and the course wants you to do the question as they ask, if that makes sense. So they might require a decimal point, or they might require you put a comma between 5,000 rather than not having a comma. But um, so long as you're doing that, you're able to complete the course. So the 2009 is what you want to finish by the 28th. 
then on the 29th, we will be back on the line here for our final review webinar. So at that point, we are going to go over um, what you can expect from the certification exam, um, the percentages of the questions that are asked, and so on, which I see here is a question that we just had. So um, let me see. Where are we here? The percentages per question or group. So you are able to find that information on the exam objectives outline that I sent at the beginning of the program. It's a two-page Word document that breaks out by 10 different subject areas the types of questions in the certification exam. So for instance, um, reports makes up a good portion of the types of questions that are on the certification exam. So um, knowing that, and then payroll also brings up I think about 13 or 14 percent. Knowing that, I made sure to really focus on those different types of areas while I was taking training. But you'll be able to see that on that exam um, objectives outline that I sent. And then also, um, that is what we go over for the final review webinar as I go step by step with those different exam objective groups and you know review that you can expect. So we see here that someone hasn't been able to access the first portion of QuickBooks. Um, so for this webinar, we want to solely speak about training and certification. If you do have any technical issues, we ask that you contact us by support ticket or at support at metricslearning.com. Also, we have a phone number you can reach us to. It's 518-462-1780. If you're unable to access anything within the course, chances are that there's something wrong with your, um, or not wrong, with something that needs to be adjusted with your computer settings, and we will work with you. However, you'll want to access us by phone or email. Uh, we have a question here. Am I remembering correctly? Day two is also about six hours. Yes. So I'd say approximately six hours. There is a little bit more to day two. I think there's a couple more chapters, so maybe closer to seven or eight, depending. Um, the course is approximately six hours, so some people go through certain subjects a bit more quickly. Um, but again, you can expect that the second half of the course will be about that. Another question about the uh, versions of QuickBooks. Unfortunately, um, we are not able to offer any free versions of QuickBooks um, at this point. It is something we are constantly pursuing, but Intuit does not offer QuickBooks Pro or Premier um, free demos, unfortunately. But this is something you know we look into. However, um, this does not you know give you hands-on experience with QuickBooks Pro 2012. However, we do have the um, the course that gives you the simulation and that feel. We have another question. Do we have access to the calendar? Um, we did send out the calendar at the beginning, so you should be ha find it in your email. And if you don't see it, then you can always shoot us an email, and we'll be happy to send you another one. So we have a question here about testing. If you don't pass, can you retake for free and how soon after your first exam? So with the voucher that you'll receive through this program, it comes with a test plus a retake. So say you weren't to pass a certification exam the first time through, you're able to retake the exam within a 30-day period. You have to wait 24 hours, so you can't take it again that day but you're able to take it within a month period. And during that, we set up the calendar so that you know um, you do have 180-day access already through your metrics license. So everyone will be able to you know, access training to kind of re-prepare if you need to. Um, you will be able to do that. And another um, thing about the exam I forgot to mention, actually. Um, so I mentioned it's 50 multiple choice questions. Um, in order to pass the exam, you need a 700 out of 1,000. So think about like a 70%. Um, it's a little bit lower than the normal metrics grade in order to pass. Um, so along with that, when you take your three practice tests, which are provided through Certiport, you'll be able to see kind of a breakdown of the, um, the different topics and how you scored in each topic. So kind of talking about payroll again, that's somewhere where I did not do well the first time I took the practice test. But what I did was I just went back in, kind of reviewed payroll, um, you know, looked online for resources, which we'll talk about in a moment, and then I scored pretty high in that section as a result. 
So in addition to, you know, the training we have through here, I offer the, I let you know about the practice questions that I can either give you access to through quiz form, which I recommend, or on paper. Um, you're also, my other recommendation is to, if you have a question about a specific area, QuickBooks Support Online has tons of different articles, how-tos, step-by-step, um, and screenshots about how to do specific areas and questions within QuickBooks. So Vicki asks, um, the manuals at the end are just hard copies of the lectures. So um, more or less, they do go directly along with the training. It's not you know, verbatim. It's not like a script or anything like that. But the manuals are meant to go along with the training. In my recommendation, I found the manuals very helpful because they somewhat go more in depth at times than the course does. Or you can see screenshots or step-by-steps on the different things that they talk about. So they do go directly wrong with them, um, but you know, it's not really a supplement for taking the course or anything like that. So we have a QuickBooks specific question, and I'm going to follow up with you after this session regarding this question. Um, just so I can be sure to understand um, what area in QuickBooks you're looking into. So I'm just writing this down quickly, and I'll follow up with you after this. So the task. Basically, you're going to be able to get a good feel for, I'll repeat the question here, will the test cover all the appendix special situations as well as the lesson chapters? Should we spend more time on those than the appendixes? So my recommendation is I'd sent you the objective, the exam objective. Go over that, because that tells you exactly the topics that are on the certification exam. Whereas the appendix are meant to be kind of supplemental, um, as well as you know the special situations. Um, my personal recommendation is that you focus more on the chapters and what's asked rather than those kind of addendums to the course itself. I think that's a really good question so far today. You're welcome. If anyone has any other questions, just go right ahead and ask. All right, we have a question here. Is sales tax on the exam? If so, is it just for New York State or all possible states? I did not see sales tax on my exam personally. And because this is you know, a QuickBooks exam across the board, it's not going to have any specifics about New York State. Um, but that is a great question, because um, I know that does come up. The training, you'll come to find the company that provides it is from Texas. So they make a couple of Texas types of references. But I did not see anything specifically about sales tax or New York State. We have another question. Um, if the proficiency grade is less than 80%, then do prospective employers recognize it as knowledge competitive? No, it just matters that you pass the test, and it's pretty much equal. As far as, as long as you get the required score to pass the test, then that's all that really matters. That's all you're going to be evaluated by.
And your certificate does not reflect your grade anyway, so all that shows is that you've passed the exam. No problem. You're welcome, Nicole. Anyone else have any questions or need any clar clarification at all? You get your grade immediately after you finish your exam. Your certification will come in the mail a f couple of weeks later, but you get your results immediately. You're welcome. So we have another comment here um, about proficiency and you know the certification exam. So again, as Nikki had mentioned, all you will need you need the 700 out of 1,000 to pass the certification exam. So kind of across the board, we're seeing more and more that empl employers are looking for certifications. It designates that you are advanced within a specific topic, and this is Intuit, which is the creator of QuickBooks and their certifications. So they are designated that you are have advanced. Um, you know, knowledge of QuickBooks itself. So again, regarding employers, no one is going to see your cert certification exam score. It doesn't say on the certificate, you know, Valerie Swenson, 700 or something like that. It just over across the board says that you are um, certified in QuickBooks Pro or Premier. So depending upon the employer too, um, I mean, I guess speaking to that, some employers have, you know, they want basic knowledge of QuickBooks, some have advanced. Again, this certificate is meant to somewhat put you apart and set you apart from the rest. Um, so that's, you know, the what the designation does. So, you know, some employers will ask for years of experience with QuickBooks. Some employers just want you to, you know, have the proficiency. So it really does depend on the employer. But again, the certification and the score that Intuit designates um, is to prove that you are advanced within QuickBooks. So we have another question about QuickBooks Online. Um, so that is something you might want to go to QuickBooks Support page regarding you know, creating a second company. What you get certified in through um, our program here is QuickBooks Pro and Premier. Online is a little bit different, but QuickBooks or Intuit QuickBooks Support Online um, will probably have that information for you. Um, our phone number for support is area code 518-462-1780.
We have a question. Um, was the certification score lowered, and does metrics help people get referrals with QuickBooks? So I can't really speak to Intuit and their score, but in my couple of years working with Certiport, which is the company that um, supplies these certification exams for QuickBooks, across the board it has been 700. So Skillsoft um, courses, you know, to pass, or through metrics rather, is the 80%, but for the certification it's 700. And for any certification, I'm also certified in Word, that was also 700. So I think that's kind of the same across the board. Um, and we don't... Uh, referring, you know, metrics, we don't really work with people for referrals or anything like that. Basically, our company is more for training. Um, you might want to work with employment counselors and other agencies like that, but basically, you know, mine and Nikki's goal here is to help you get that certification, which we think will be very helpful in your job search. You are welcome, and no, you're not talking too much at all. Um, that's the purpose of this whole thing, is for us to be answering your questions, so ask away. All right, we'll give it a couple more minutes here to finish up with any questions that you have. So keep them coming. Oh, something that did come up. This isn't a question, more of a comment. Um, again, people are, you know, pretty much right on track. It's not a tiny little bit behind, which is fine, so long as, you know, you're moving along the program. If you do finish the training before the 28th, um, you know, 27th, 28th, as you're completing training, feel free to continue on. Um, once you're finished with everything, what we can do is we can send you um, access to those practice questions. So, you know, just because the calendar says that you should have everything finished by a certain date, um, I mean, have it finished by that date, but don't let it, you know, hold you up at all. We'll continue to send you resources and, you know, keep you going. So I know that having kind of taken a look into reports, a couple of people are almost done, or we do have one or two that are finished. So if you do want additional resources, you know, practice questions, um, that is all available ASAP at this point. I also have um, a recorded review video for the day two, um, just like you would view for day one. So that is also available to you. Oh, I guess I have a question for you all. Um, did everyone view or did anyone view the day one recorded review video? If so, did you find it helpful? Great. I see a couple of responses here. Yes. Um, I'm glad you found it helpful. So, you know, for those you haven't reviewed, um, you know, it's available through YouTube. So you're able to access that at any point. And what we try to do with those is you are going to be learning a lot of QuickBooks and a lot within, you know, this course itself. So we try to kind of narrow down on the um, topics that are on the certification exam per the exam objectives outline. So that is available for both day one, day two, um, and available at any point. So even right before um, the you know, certification exam, you can take a look at that. And I see here we have um, a question about an outline. So actually what I can do is, we're, as I mentioned, we are recording this. So after this session, I will send everyone a recorded copy of this. And I will also attach in that email um, the exam objectives outline. We have another question here on the hands-on section. Um, can you go back in and redo what you lack and re redo? Yes. The question answer to that is yes. So for the Skillsoft courses, you're all our current metrics customers, you're taking Skillsoft training, you are able to go back into any section, any part of a course, and retake it if you want to improve your score or just review. So, 
Um, the system recognizes when you're finished, you'll you know, get that voucher, but during that time, you can always go back in. We have here a comment, it was refreshing to hear a different voice. Well, I'm glad you thought that way. Um, and you know, just, it's 12 hours with the same person. I think that I would probably not be that great after 12 hours as well. But um, yep, so that you know, is available for you. So no study groups at this point. Um, you know, I do know that you are all library customers. Um, I know some people are going to the library for, you know, taking the training and things like that. Nothing really organized at this point, um, but I do know that they have open labs available at different branches. Um, Maria, I'm going to go ahead and respond to what you said. I found that the lecture format gets challenging over time. So um, that was my personal findings, too. As you get into day two, I mentioned that it seems a little bit longer. Um, you know, it's meant to be about six hours, but it could be seven or eight because it does get a bit more challenging as it goes. I found the last couple chapters a little bit easier. It's customization and, you know, making forms look different. So maybe that was just um, easier for me or something like that. But um, it does get a little bit more challenging as time goes on, but definitely we'll review the things that you need for the test itself. And you're welcome. All right, we'll give it a you know a minute or so here, unless you know questions continue pouring in. If there is something you think of, you know, once we get off the line here, you can always feel free to email us or give us a call um, for any questions that you do have. So we'll give it one more minute just to wrap things up. All right, give it a couple more seconds here if anyone has anything. All right, so at this point, we're going to go ahead and wrap things up here. Again, thank you all so much for being on the line today. We had a great you know, group and a lot of good questions here. So moving forward, what you want to do is continue on in the Mastering QuickBooks Level 1 course. Um, we're here for any questions that you have throughout the duration of this program. And we'll look forward to all being together on the line again um, next Thursday. So again, thank you all so much.